Think there's alligators running around here or something? No, I, mean, I don't. We don't care about alligators, man. We got all kinds of crazy stuff up there. That we got big feet and bobcats and stuff like that, man. We ain't skunk ape, Sasquatch. Skunk. Well, that's that's what they call them down here. So we ain't, we ain't scared, <laughs> man. Come on now. I got good buddies in Ohio. You with Josh Steele, Pete my, Henderson, all yeah. the cats, Ken Worthy. By the way, these. by the way, my, my brother is a proud Sasquatch hunter. Believe it or not. <laughs> well, I hope he don't ever catch one. I want well, him to continue to be your brother. Can, here, I, I'll just say this. I asked him one time, so you ever, you ever see one? He said, yeah, I have. we had one come into the camp. He was throwing stuff at us. I said, what did you do? He said, we took off. I said, really? I said, I thought you were out hunting. Why would you take a, run away from him? <laughs> All righty, then. I, in, the, in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I hate, I hate to admit that that's my bloodline and my full brother, but it is. <laughs> I still love him. That's all right. Henry Karbasek was the leader in this one whenever we red flagged it, but we repacked and restacked these riders, so we got a whole new situation and circumstance unfolding here. But something tells me that cream rises to the top all the time, and there is. Karbasek in the number one spot. But look at this, Travis Johnsmeyer getting a much better start on the restart. Colt Martin, who got the early lead in this one on lap number one and dropping back to second, is now opening up in a third place position here on this now first lap of racing for this 51 4 to 8 limited class. Well, you're right. I got a feeling he's not going to have a problem making his way up there. Certainly the talent still right there and the desire to go to the front. Even tighter. He's got a little bit of a gap right there. Then here comes second and third. Hot on his heels. Bit of a gap. Maybe just a second or two. And then fourth and fifth. So top competitors getting that good start out here in our second gate drop. And we are underway. Another championship we have coming up. Wow. Colt Martin really putting some good runs together. And uh, this is a young man probably some should be keeping an eye on in the future. It's not going to be a hard name to forget. That's, or it will be a hard name to forget. It's uh, Colt Martin and uh, very fast in this 51-48 class. Henry Karbasek in that number one spot. Johns Meyer Martin, one, two, and three, just like they were in the early part of the race. There's Brayton Craiglow. He was a front runner at the red flag as well. He's fourth. Travis Snyder rounds out the top five now, Jeff Hines. You are right, man. In the double zero, Henry Harvesteck. This guy has been on point once again. He's posting up with a big lead there for you, already building on it. You're right, Travis Johnsmeyer, Cole Martin, Brayton Craiglow, Travis Snyder in the top five, six through ten with Owen Stull, Braxton Mees, Justin Schuff, Maverick Schneider, and Ryder Wren, number 121, Cobra mounted lineup right here. First through 10 or 11 right there. Keeping Sean and the guys pretty happy, no doubt about that. And we're off and running. Well, if they finish the way they are on the track right now in the top three, Carbasek, Tonsmeyer, and Martin running one, two, and three. Craig Lowe in fourth and Schneider in fifth. Actually, the top five, top six, Owen Shaw back in six would actually finish top seven. <laughs> so as we know, they're fast and consistent too and this consistent. time around, right? Yeah, very right. consistent. Our top seven yes. actually would finish exactly uh, the way they are on the uh, course right now. And that'd be the overall top seven in the uh, top 10 bid here for this four to eight class. And like uh, Jeff said, consistency for these uh, youngsters. And that's always cool to see that, uh, you know, it's not just a one-off for a lot of these kids. They come out and they do it time after time after time. But they got a lot of way, they got a long ways to go, and it's 20 miles of bad road, and that's my West Kane impression. Yeah. <laughs> 20 miles of bad road, I'm sure, is what some of these kids are feeling like out here on these uh, little bikes. As you take a look, we talked about the race pace of this uh, race course. Uh, Probably some of the best conditions, racing conditions yeah, I've did seen. That. It. I said and impression, it. not impersonation. See how I did that? <laughs> <laughs> but <Heaven>. uh, <laughs> looking at these tracks, you know, you see them and you see all these uh, well defined lines. You don't get lines. Well, sometimes you can get lines. I'm sure the Winter M series probably gets Talk lines. Talk about some volume of traffic out here, though. Yeah, Ooh. that's. That's a big yeah. part of it is the volume of traffic. But I know that Winter M Series racing probably developed some pretty good lines as well. And don't forget, you can come out and check it for yourself 
on the back, Diamondback, here at Gatorback Cycle Park that first weekend in January. I believe that's January 4th and 5th here at Gatorback Cycle Park. You know, I think one of our top performers also, a lot of people have noticed this year's Amashio subsoil grader that uh, Jeff, Joni, and, of course, Matt Walker, those guys at I-75 Truck Stop have been touting out here. It's done an amazing job on the soil and on the dirt. If you own a track, if you own land, this is something you may need to look into. Appreciate them coming on board and being with us all week long. Yeah, I know we look at it from a, a uh, standpoint of it does great things for the motocross track, but there's an agricultural use for That's it as well. That's where it comes from. <laughs> of course, you'd never talk any of these riders into that. They wouldn't know nothing about that, but hey, uh, why well, wouldn't they? You'd be surprised how many of these guys are uh, planting H's, corn and, stuff like and that. soybeans and things like that as a living, my friends, because uh, that is a big, big business, no doubt. Or maybe castor bean two-stroke oil in these little guys. <laughs> All right, working on three now. Look at Colt Martin roll out here. A picture of great riding abilities, no doubt, and uh, just style. This kid has really got a lot of things to look forward to as far as his motocross racing Golly. career is concerned. Making him big step up so easy on that little bitty bike, and we know that takes just an immense amount of talent, 100% dedication, and a lot of heart. These little ones just amplify. I mean, they exemplify all of that. Brayton Craiglow back there in that number four spot. Travis Snyder, no change through our top five there on two, one to two. And it doesn't look like we're seeing a change here on lap three either as... Our leader, Carbasek, drops into the Gator pit. Johns Meyer still back there. Martin still back there. Craiglo still back there as well. And oh, is that? Yep. I Travis thought, Snyder still back there also. I thought Brayton Craiglo might be the one to break up in there and make something happen, but they're all saying, "Oh, Henry!" Right now, he is running away with it. Oh, Look at him looking good right up in the racer TV camera. Kicks off things with a <laughs> Thor last lap. <laughs> That's. Double O Henry. Double O Henry. <laughs> the two zeros. Say, oh, the my. Oh, oh Henry. <laughs> That's what they're saying, no doubt about that. They I may be a, saying it, but the only thing they're seeing is the rear tire. I'll yeah. tell you, he's rolling out. Yeah, first right. across the big step up right there, and he's hit that along with the top competitors for these young, seasoned veterans at this ripe old age of four to eight year olds. So, uh, man, veterans. just showing you intense abilities. An unbelievable backing right here for these young riders. It's got them living their dreams, and these are absolutely the stars of tomorrow. Double O Henry Carvasek out front. I had a buddy named uh, Henry. We called him O Henry, a uh, good friend of mine. So that kind of makes me think of him. But now we got a double O Henry Carvasek out here with us. Travis Johnsmeyer, this is three laps complete. Martin, Craiglow, Snyder, Braxton Mees, Justin Shub, Tace Morgan, also Maverick Snyder, and Ryder Wren rounding out the top ten. Everybody wants to be a champ, and unfortunately, the only one's going to grab that gold, but we do have a silver and a bronze up for grabs, and that's going to be hotly contested property as well as they continue to make their way around. They are headed. Before you know it, did a checker flag because we've been under the Thor last lap for quite a while now, and here comes your leader. Harvesek just doing an admirable job out there, Rodney. Double O Henry. Got his own little cheering squad down there, and rightfully so. I like the look that he's packing to that white bike, that a white cool kit. helmet, white boots. Good looking yeah. kit right there. Black oh. riding gear, yeah. that's pretty cool will look good in all the magazines and here on Racer TV, of course, Don't as he, he rounds the final turns here now. Two to go. One more to go now after this one. And, oh, Henry Carbasek will take the win, it looks like, in this 51, 4 to 8-year-old class. He'll go 1-1 one, one for the overall as well. Travis Johnsmeyer will check in with a 1-2 and two for second place overall. Colt Martin going two and three for third place overall. Looks like we'll see Brayton Craiglow in the fourth place position. Travis Schneider in fifth place. Braxton Mees in sixth. Justin Schupp in seventh. Tace Morgan in eighth. The 01 of Maverick Snyder and the 121 of Ryder Wren rounding out the top ten as we look at our Pro Circuit results board. Talk about folks representing here from all over right here.
California, yeah, New York, Alabama, Florida, New uh, uh, Ohio, Utah, Indiana, Maine. Wow, there is a good cross section of the nation's. Make this a true international event. There's no doubt about that. Well, definitely interstate and internationals. We have Canadian. We have riders from South America, riders from Europe, riders from Africa, I believe, again.